What's up everyone, today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 176, second highest salary. Mark this easy, one of the most frequent ones that you will get in your coding interviews for data scientists, data analysts, machine learning engineer and some software engineering roles even. So this was one of the first I wanted to mention on this channel because it appears that high on list and for a lot of companies. It's marked as easy. There is also some trick to it because as you will find um, you should return null in case you don't get the result and that makes it a bit tricky. So going through the problem statement we are supposed to write a SQL query to get the second highest salary from an employee table and that employee table just has an ID and salary, no name, no second table for name and uh, last name of that employee. Just one table, which is always good to see. And in this case, we have three entries of salaries of 100, 200 and 300. And in this case, we will return 200 since 300 is the highest salary and we want to get the second highest salary. If there's no second highest salary, then the query should return null. So that would be the case if there's only one entry in salary or there's two people earning 300 so there is no second highest salary because they're both the highest salary yeah and the same would happen if the table was just empty so let's start out by thinking about our approach so one thing we could do is use max that would be something that should come to mind if you are talking about the highest salary and then take the second highest salary so we could try to get the highest salary of that table and that use that as a filter condition within our workflow. So we want to get the highest salary that is not the highest salary, which makes it the second highest salary. So we're just gonna strip away the highest salary from our table to get rid of the highest one. And then if we get the highest one of the remaining entries, we get the second highest salary. And that is something we can achieve by selecting fields from that employee table and then introducing a where condition and that would be in this case either that the salary shouldn't be the highest salary and we could achieve that by creating a subquery of select max salary from employee so that would be the highest salary and now we filter salary to not, not include that highest salary. We could also use smaller than and that would also work. Um, smaller, not smaller or equal because smaller or equal might include the highest salary if it appears twice. Mm, but maybe to make it more readable we just use not in. And then we want to select the highest salary of these remaining salaries. So we can use max salary as well and call that second highest salary as in the output. And if we run that, that should work and we have the right result. Then let's run it again using smaller than and then there's also another way of solving this. So let's use limit. So another thing you could do is to select the salary and order by the salary to have the highest appear on top. So it would be 300, 200, 100. And then just use limit and offset to just uh, select a specific value, in this case the second value of your output and only that row. So you just want to get the second row of this order table. So in this case we can use select salary from employee and we need to order that by salary of course. And salary should be descending. If we don't specify anything it would be ascending but we want it descending to have the highest on top and to be sorted descending. So in this case, 
let's just run the query to see where this takes us. We'll give us 300, 200, 100. We just want the second value, so we introduce a limit. One, so that gives us just one output. And then after that, we could also um, choose the offset. So how much, how many rows we skip. So we want to limit our output to one row and skip one row. That would be the offset. So if we run that, we would get the second uh, row as well. We just forgot to name our field second highest. Seven. Okay, now there might be an issue here, which is the tricky part of having no entries. So what happens with null? Does it return null? No, it doesn't return anything. It should return null. So we can circumvent getting no values by creating a subquery from our query and just putting another select around it. And that way that will return null. It works even better if we use our initial code with max. Have to return bit here to get there. Um, because if we use max and there are no values to choose from, it returns null by definition. So that would be a better solution in this case. But then again, if it were not the second highest salary, but the third highest salary, we would have an issue because it doesn't work that easily. So in this case, limit would probably be better. Anyways, for this problem, this solution suffices. As you can see, I had some trouble submitting an accepted solution because you have to check for null here. And that is quite tricky. Maybe that's why the question has a few downloads. So if I was to ask this in an interview, I wouldn't care too much about the null values, um, but it's a good question to see if you can use subqueries and use that as a filter condition. Anyway, that's been it for this question. Hope you learned something and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.